Hey everybody, my name's Ed. Okay, another uh, random old school comic book uh, review or walkthrough. This time it's going to be Tarzan from 1976, uh, I think. I'm pretty sure this was from 1976. This is issue number 200 and something. Um, you can see... <coughs> Um, it looks like it looks like the cover kind of got cut off at the printers. The, the spine is kind of rolled here, but it doesn't look like it was wear and tear to me. It looks like this is something that kind of happened in the manufacturing process. Because the cut here is very clean, but you see it, it's cut off whatever quarter centimeter should have been on there. And you can't tell that, you know, 30 cent, the, the price has gotten cut off. Uh, the issue number's gotten cut off, and a month has gotten cut off there. So, this is issue, let's see here. Okay, it's issue number 250, yeah, 252 from 1976, all right? Okay, so, uh... So let's see here. In this issue, the Savage Showdown in the Desert. You've got a really, <coughs> excuse me, really nice cover here by uh, Jose Garcia Lopez. And he does the art for the first story here. Oh, we got a nice little ad here too where you can get baseball cards in uh, cases of... Uh, Hostess, Twinkies, and Cupcakes. Steve Garvey. Huh? All right. Okay, so first uh, first page of first story. You know, we have this woman. She's uh, kind of doing her thing in the jungle. It says it's 19... It's 1914. Okay, so it's uh, First World War, right? She's attacked by a lion. And she falls over. She tries to grab her gun, but she can't. But luckily for her, Tarzan shows up. Yeah. He's like, beat it, lion. Okay, written with pride by Gary, uh, I'm sorry, Jerry Conway, uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, and Rudy Foris are the artists. Joe Orlando is the editor. Okay. Oh, there's something else interesting in here. Is it in here? Check it out. I'm not going to get make a big deal out of it, but I do think it's interesting. So it's 1976. So you can see, I don't know if anybody can read that, but Carmine Infantino is still the publisher. Like two years later, I don't know if he quit or if he got fired or what happened. But he ended up at Marvel doing art for them, you know. Joe Orlando, editor. Paul Levitz, assistant editor. Saul Harrison, vice president. All right. It seemed like Paul Levitz, out of all of them, probably lasted the longest. Or I don't know. At least as far as, you know, moving from that era into the modern era, let's say that. Because Joe Orlando has been around, he's been around since the 50s, right? I'm pretty sure. All right. Okay, so anyway, Tarzan saves her life. But he's a little bit suspicious of her because he thinks she's a German spy. And then he's like looking at her. He's like, where'd you get that locket? And it turns out that that is the locket that he had given his wife, Jane, who I guess is dead at this point. There's some really interesting art here by uh, Jose, uh, Jose Garcia Lopez because he looks like he's trying to keep consistent with the look that uh, Joe Kubert had established. You know, it's still very much uh, Garcia's art, but trying to keep in that same sort of vein, it looks like. Yeah. These charms blow, blow pop, and for charms blow pops. Magical set. Oh, you can get some little toys and knickknacks. 
worth six dollars, but you only paid three dollars for them. 1976, so of course they're Slim Jims. This is interesting. Uh, Bob Kane has written a new song called Have Faith in Me, recorded by Hank Leeds and the Back Group. So I guess you could buy <laughs> this 45. Back with You Got Me Crying. It is an actual Bob Kane illustration, it looks like. All right. And you get an autographed photo of Bob Kane in the Batmobile. All right. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> while Tarzan's having a moment, the British spy knocks him on the back of the head. It runs off. And then... A panther sees knocked out ty uh, Tarzan, and then the lion that Tarzan had run off earlier comes and saves him from the panther because Tarzan's lord of the jungle. That's why. And here Tarzan uh, finds out where the Brit uh, German spy is. And then he jumps through the window. And then it's to be continued. Fourth week in June. Okay. Then we get the second story here. Oh, no, wait. First we get the uh, editorial page or advertisement page. So we get ads for other things that are coming out that month or that week from DC. Brave and a Bold team up with Green Arrow. Sergeant Rock. All right. That looks like another Joe. That looks like a Joe Kerb, uh, Joe Kubert, uh, cover. Trivial quiz. Everyone knows Clark Kent is a TV newsman, but what do they know about our other heroes' occupations? Do you know the jobs of Dinah Black Canary Lance, Jack the Creeper Rider, Diana Wonder Woman Prince? Billy, Captain Marvel, Batson, and Linda, Supergirl, Danvers, answers in next week's planet. Other things here. Uh, Secret Society of Supervillains 3, Green Arrow, joins the fight to defeat Darkseid. Commandy, Ghost, Freedom Fighters, Tarzan, Family. All right. Ad for comic book savers. Okay. Fishing rods. Okay, so here's the second story. And there's an apology here. It says, da -da 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 -da. Tarzan came to learn lessons for which he would have loved his life. Thus were shaped the thoughts and ideas of the jungle lord. And since deadlines have caught us in mid-story, we're presenting this classic for your enjoyment. So Jungle Tales of Tarzan. And you can see it looks like it was originally done in 1972, right? Okay. And this is definitely Joe Kubert art, right? Okay. So basically, Tarzan is living with the apes. He wants to play with the young apes. But Baloo, the older ape, says, get lost. Then this guy comes in here to teach you music. Only this time he's not alone. He's playing music with this lady. Normally you see this guy, he's by himself on the back of some comic, or even in an ad like this. But here, he's joined by someone. All right. Some more classified ads. Fly model rockets from Space 1999. I don't know how many people remember, but Space 1999 used to be this science fiction show that was on during the, uh, yeah, let's say mid-70s. Uh, kind of more in the Star Trek vein and not as much in the uh, Star Wars vein as that hadn't caught on quite yet. I think, I can't even remember the whole premise. I want to say they were on a space station on the moon or something like that. I can't remember, but uh, but yeah. All right, here's some Treasury Editions. I, I don't think DC called them Treasury Editions. Uh, these uh, 
limited collector's editions. That's what they call them. But they were these oversized uh, comics. <coughs> Sometimes they had original stories in them. A lot of times they had reprints. That's what it looks like this it probably is. Superman salutes the Bicentennial. And then here's uh, here's one that's a salute to the Justice League of America. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, this has new pinups of the uh, JLA and Golden Age Grace of Justice Society. Behind the scenes, look at the Hall of Justice and the Super Friends. Okay. All right. Anyway. Ah, and here, here's some more that have already been published. Now, this is interesting. Um... It's here, Dick Tracy. I wonder how that came about. I don't remember DC actually publishing any of the Chester Gould stuff. I don't know if these are new stories or reprints of the old uh, newspaper strip. I do not know. Okay, all right, so back to the story. Tarzan has a beef with one of the apes. He doesn't want to really hurt the ape, so he uses some vines, and he trips him up, and he's got him hanging. Be, be a locksmith. Okay, so he's just kind of hanging there, and meanwhile, you know, we've got the, uh, the jungle cats just watching. Hmm. Being all sneaky and sinister. Here's more of Tarzan just kind of uh, got the ape hanging. Then he figures, well, I'll cut him down. The Panthers are still watching and waiting. And they kind of get into it. They mean Tarzan, another one of the apes. And they have a fight, sort of. And the one ape falls out of the tree. And then you buy some t-shirts. And then, ow. Amazing World of DC Comics. Number 11 belongs to the supervillains. Uh, this was like uh, I'm pretty sure a fan magazine that DC Comic put out. Like Marvel had Foom, Friends of Old Marvel. DC had the Amazing World of DC Comics. So subscription ad, and then here we go. Tarzan goes to get Baloo, who's still hanging there. And now the Panthers come out of hiding. And they're about to make their move. And it's to be continued. The Great Apes versus the Panthers. Ah. And then here's the letters page. Ape mail. I think that's it. Personalized metal social security plates. I guess you're sending your social security card and get it printed on some metal thing? Hmm. And here's some models, monogram. Brownie presents the true adventures of John Rakowski, round the world bicyclist. I'm not too sure about John Rakowski. I guess he's a world renowned bicyclist. And then, I guess Brownie made bicycles? I guess so. And then here the ad here is you cut out the ad. 
and you ask for a free catalog. Okay, all right, so that's it. Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan the Untamed. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day.